Pia and we are back with another tech video. Just a disclaimer, I'm not a programmer, gamer, or anything like that. My requirements are I need a fast, reliable laptop that lasts all day. I would say that I'm a general user and my heaviest task is video editing. I have used quite a few laptops recently, but I must say that these two ones stands out to me the most. I mean, at this price point and specs, I can say that they're one of the best laptops that you can buy in the market. So in today's video, we are doing an honest comparison between Dell XPS 13 and MacBook Pro 13 inch. The Dell XPS 13 is made from aluminium, which feels solid and sleek. The shell is made out of carbon fiber, which is sought after because of its durability and flexibility. MacBook Pro's exterior is also made out of aluminium, so it overall feels premium. Dell's footprint is smaller when it comes to weight though, they feel similar to me, so there's nothing to consider there. What I probably love the most about the Dell XPS 13 is the screen. It is 13.4 inches Ultra HD screen with a resolution of 3840 versus 2400. The display is large and the images are vivid. MacBook Pro, on the other hand, boasts their Retina display, which is basically their version of HD. You get a 13.3 inch screen with a resolution of 2560 by 1600. To me personally, the Dell XPS display looks better. The bezel is smaller with the Dell XPS, which is really nice as overall it gives you that thinner, more real estate feeling when working. Dell screen is also touchscreen, which is a nice feature, I suppose, but I personally don't use it. So this factor doesn't really matter to me. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have a touchscreen laptop and you really use that feature. Now let's talk about the keyboard. The Max keyboard is what I prefer as it feels really pleasant when typing. The keys are not too high and it feels just right. The downside about this keyboard though is that they are known to be problematic. Since we bought this in 2018, it has been sent away once because of keyboard issues. If you like eating while working, be very careful for any crumbs that may fall in between the keyboard. This issue has been resolved though with the latest MacBook as they brought back the old keyboard. Review on my new M1 Mac coming soon by the way. The notable difference between the two is the touch bar. I personally find the touch bar really useful, the touch ID being my favorite as it makes unlocking my laptop such a quick process. So it's nice to have fingerprint unlocking to both laptops. Dell XPS keyboard also feels nice. It is slightly elevated and the backlight is not as seamless as the MacBook Pro, but this really isn't an issue. I haven't had any issues with my keyboard and I don't know anybody who owns it who have. Now let's talk about the trackpad. I mean, where do I begin with this? Dell XPS 13 is a 1600 pound laptop. So for that money, I did have high expectations. This trackpad is just so hard and not as pleasurable to use compared to MacBook Pro's trackpad. I'm not exaggerating, but if you are a Mac user and ask to use a Dell XPS trackpad, it seriously feels like a workout. Apart from it being hard, there is just too much resistance that is too noticeable. So I'm afraid that's a big turn enough for me. There is something about Max trackpad that is so amazing and seamless. Because of recent events, working from home has been encouraged more than ever. So let's talk about the built-in camera. MacBook Pro's camera is a 720 FaceTime HD camera and Dell XPS is also 720p. Let's also try the built-in microphone. Hi, it's Pia and we are currently using the microphone of the Dell XPS 13. Hi, this is Pia and we are now testing the MacBook Pro's built-in microphone. I've played loads of music from different genres on both laptops, but I personally prefer the MacBook Pro speaker and I find that the Dell XPS 13 is slightly tinny. One thing that I like to point out when it comes to design is this curvature right here. This makes opening MacBook Pro such a breeze. Dell XPS 13, however, doesn't have much curvature. So I must admit, opening it can be a struggle, especially if you're like me and you use hand cream. When it comes to ports, I thought I loved the four USB-C ports, plus this headphone port that I personally don't use anyway. But after using Dell XPS 13, I just love the fact that it has a micro USB slot because I use a card reader for my camera and everything just dongles with my Mac. 
So that is definitely handy to have for somebody like me who uses their laptop for video or photo editing. Now let's move on to the specs. The Dell XPS 13 runs on 10th generation Intel i7 processor up to 3.9 gigahertz versus 2.3 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i5. Turbo boost up to 3.8 gigahertz. In theory, Dell XPS should be ever so slightly quicker, but that is not the case. There is a slight lag with the Dell XPS 13, which is again something that you would not want to deal with given the price point. When it comes to RAM, Dell XPS 13 boasts 16 gig of RAM, which is twice the MacBook Pro's 8 gig RAM. That is impressive, isn't it? Although for what I typically use it for, which is Word, two internet browsers, a video editing software, microphone, and maybe a few other bits, I haven't noticed any difference. When it comes to storage, the Dell XPS 13 has definitely put the MacBook Pro to shame. This MacBook Pro has 250 gig of storage. Of course, you do have the option to configure it up to two terabytes, but it will make it more expensive. So a typical user like myself would result to more dangles using an external hard drive. This particular Dell XPS 13 boasts one terabyte of storage. When it comes to battery power, the MacBook 13 lasts slightly longer for me. Of course, if I'm editing videos, the battery on both tends to drain quicker, but for my typical light usage, I would say my Mac would last probably four to six hours, whilst the Dell XPS 13 probably around an hour or two hours less. Of course, we do use our laptops different, differently, so you may find that your battery will last longer longer or shorter, depending on your typical usage. They both don't last all day, so you definitely would need chargers with you if you're required to work longer hours. One of the major deciding factors to consider would be what OS would you prefer? Have you got a lot of Apple devices? Well, the main advantage of this is how well your gadgets would be integrated. Unfortunately, me and my husband are both Apple users, so that is already an unfair deciding point for us. But this is an honest review, so we're not stopping there. When it comes to display, especially the bezel, storage, and the micro SD card reader, I'd give this to Dell XPS 13. When it comes to how smooth things run and who has a better built-in speaker, MacBook Pro is the winner for me with this. The lag is just so obvious from the Dell XPS 13 for me. Another big thing for me is the trackpad. It just feels really tacky and definitely affects the overall experience for me. But hey, this may not be necessarily an issue for you, but I definitely suggest for you to try it out first before buying. Personally, I prefer the MacBook Pro 13 inch. I just can't get over the trackpad and I'd have to compromise the storage, display and bezel because the rest of my gadgets are Apple so it makes working more efficient for me. Let me know in the comment section down below if you are team Dell XPS 13 or team MacBook Pro. I can't wait to hear from you. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. I upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you on my next one. Paalam!